Sage versus Zero. Which one is better? Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to run through Sage accounting software and we're going to run through Zero accounting software. I'm going to go ahead and show you initially what we're going to do on Sage. Going through some of the features here, we're going to have a look at how easy it is to use, how easy it is to set up some automations, and then we're going to have a look at some pricing. And we're going to go ahead and have a look through Zero as well. We're going to see how easy it is to actually make an invoice and automate all the rest of the processes and then we can compare the prices to the sage price packaging that they offer so let us get straight in first of all having a look at a comparison of sage and zero uh, sage really looks a little bit complicated to me i'm having a look at it now and i'm thinking to myself you know you're a first time user you want to get into the platform you want to start using it you want to start learning how to use it and it just it looks very rigid and it looks very difficult to use i must say though that they have this dashboard option so you can add a widget that means you can basically just add like another piece of data over here so that you don't have to go into that specific data to have a look edit so you can go ahead and you can select what it is you want to put up here so you can customize your dashboard basically which is really nice they do have a favorites tab over on the right hand side here you can fa uh, one two three and you can manage uh, all of your favorites right over there yes okay it is pretty much simple to use if you're having a look at you know you know, how your one two three and so having a look at this menu up at the top here, you have a quick view, you have all your customer related stuff, you have all your supplier related stuff, items, banking accounts, and then you have your accountant area so you can now send an invite to your accountant and your accountant can come on the platform and your accountant can manage all your for your accounts you can also have a look at your reporting over here you can manage all of your company details and then there's some administrative tools so having a look at how to actually start and create an invoice we can go ahead here and we can tap on home and we can go into one of these quick buttons over here so let us tap on create a quote and over here you can see you can now enter your customer details your vat references all of the delivery addresses your postal addresses and then coming down over here you have your quote details such as your quote number a customer reference you've got a type of layout which is a lot of options you have your sales rep that you can add in over there and all the other date details then going into select an item you can't just free type you need to add an item you need to add that item into your system once you've added that item you can say save and you can add that exact same item so it doesn't give you the option to free type so you know you have to sort of have your stuff well structured to do an invoice or a quote or any other form and then when you're done you can also add a message in over here you get your total and then you can either save you can save and create a new one then you can also print and you can have that emailed to the customer straight from this page so it is relatively quick and easy to actually jump into and start using once you actually get a feel for it have a link at zero now you can go ahead and on the top right hand side there's a plus button and you can pretty much create anything you want right over here i'm going to create a quote and this is what the page looks like now it does um, make me feel like because the text is a little bit bigger it makes me feel like it's easier to use I can see more and it just feels like it's a better platform again you can add your contact you can change the dates you can enter the quote number over there you can change the currency as well which is a nice feature and then in your description as you can see over here you can actually free type in the items descriptions quantity and your price so when you're building your invoice you don't have to have specific items that you are selling or specific service items that you're selling so yes that does look a little bit different however if I have to compare you know just the usability over here versus zero um, I really would go ahead and say that zero makes me feel a lot at ease rather than what sage makes me feel 
So having a look at some of the other features over here, you can actually completely automate everything. So once you are creating, let's say perhaps a quote, you can then have all of these details get processed into an invoice and then into a bill. And you can do this with all of your accounts, all of your forms that you're creating, you can pretty much automate everything. Now on Zero, you can do the exact same. So those features are pretty much matched up. Now let us jump into the pricing of these products because that is an important element. So having a look at Sage, now you can see that you have your three pricing plans. So the starting plan over here, it starts at 200 Rand per month. And if you want to convert that, 200 rand actually equals only ten dollars and 71 cents given the current exchange rate so ten dollars and 71 cents for just ten dollars you can really get quite a bit so let's have a look at what they actually offer you so uh, creating invoices track what you own automatic bank reconciliation work from anywhere get started quick and easily and it only supports one user okay that's great i'm having a look at some of these features and i'm thinking to myself what are these features i don't actually know what they are at a first glance so it's a little bit vague in terms of what they actually offer you um having a look at some of the advanced features that for this package you don't actually get but um on the next package for 370 rand if you're putting that in over here 370 rand is almost 20 dollars so 20 dollars is not a lot if you're having a look at it per month and you can see that you get quite a bit more so you get bookkeeping you can calculate your vat returns you can add up to five users i think that is a fantastic feature if you have more than one person in your accounting department and there are a couple more features over here so as you can see yes they do offer quite a lot and it's a very detailed package that they give you on the standard uh, package over here you can change the amount of users of course that number will change over here and then you get a accounting standard which is this one over here and then you get a payroll uh, which is a bundle uh, price plan over here and if you take that 4150 and you go uh, 4150 in over here you're paying 222 dollars and that is actually over one year so if you have a look here it says including that per year and yes so you get all of the features this is now their premium package so all in all, I would say that it's not a bad package. You do get quite a bit. I would just um, say that they could be a little bit more clear on what they're actually offering here. Having a look now at the pricing plans that are offered by Zero, it is very simple and straightforward. You get three plans and the first one or the starter pack, it is 435 Rand. So you, if you want to put that into perspective, that is just above $23 around about. So if you are having a look at what you get offered over here, you get reconciled bank transactions, you get the opportunity to capture bills. And receipts then you also get analytics and the opportunity to track your cash flow and this is just offered in the starter package there are some extra features that are offered in the standard as well as the premium so yes they do offer um, maybe not as much maybe they don't go into as much detail however i must say that overall if i had to choose an accounting platform or an accounting software to process all of the accounts in my business i would definitely go with zero sage to me just seems like for somebody that has really been doing it for many years and understands a lot more about accounting i would say would be a much better option if you're a beginner and you're looking for something quick and easy to use you can jump in and you can start using initially as a professional um, i would definitely say that zero is the better choice it just looks better it feels better I think their pricing structure is a little bit better as well and honestly overall it just gives me a good feel about the product so there you go ladies and gentlemen if you're looking for accounting software you have the choice of sage as well as zero which are both leading accounting software platforms you can go ahead jump into any one of them and you can get going straight away i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to smash that like button don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio